tell you I am so tired? Wow, today is Monday. Hey everybody, today is Monday. I'm going to try and record for the next couple of days. It's a new vlog and this vlog is going to be slightly different because I'm also going to add my evening routine in this vlog. So, because I know you guys love the vlog, so I just want to, you know, and maybe that part of the vlog I'll actually do in, um, with a voiceover, that specific part of the vlog. Um, but for now, I am going to give you a skim through of what I picked up for my weekly shop. You guys know I always pop into Woolworths every single week so that I can pick up something to eat. The weather is really nice today. The, 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 the skin is skinning. <laughs> Why am I making noise? The skin is skinning. I actually have some olives here and I'm really, I've been craving them from the weekend. From the weekend. Mom. Mm. Mmm, mm. mm, okay. That's good. Oh, that's good. Mmm, that's good. Okay. Um, so today was a very busy day at work. And I still have a couple of things that I need to do this evening. So I am going to be going up to my office and working still. So it's going to be a long afternoon. But I just wanted to show you what I picked up for Molly's weekly shop um, and nothing new nothing exciting the only different thing is juice wise juice gimme gimme gamma gimme gamma daddy juice if you know where that comes from let me know down below it's it's a little joke thing that we my partner and I love to just gimme gamma gimme gamma 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 juice pump gas daddy <laughs> anyway um so Got some orange juice I, I literally just made myself a smoothie this is the freshly squeezed orange juice hence why the juice is there okay and then i also got the green uh juice 100 percent juice with apple cucumber and spinach i did not find my loved grapefruit juice for some reason uh but i think it's also because i went late to woolies and because I went late, I also didn't find baby spinach. Instead, I found Swiss chard. And at this point, I, I, I'll take whatever spinach, okay? Because I don't know if Woolworths is having some sort of shortage with the baby spinach or whatever. Or people are just mooring the baby spinach. They're mooring it. By the time I go in the afternoon after work, I, I cost spinach. So I just decided to pick this one up. Um, so I got three bags of that along with those two of course got a bit of kiwi this time around because I haven't had kiwi in a minute So decided to get kiwi strawberries are always a standard Melon always a standard sometimes when I'm romanticizing my life. I, I have melon We're gonna sit down and have a little bit of a catch-up because ooh, the weekend I just came from cha <laughs> Anyway blueberries standard cucumber standard because I love it these days uh, then I also picked up again bulgur wheat salads because I am not going to cook today and because I'm going to be filming that part as a part of the uh, What do you call it? Um, the evening routine vlog part I'm, I'm not gonna cook and I feel like you guys got a lot of cooking content last week. So it's fine I need to write. I need to shop. Thanks uh, So I got the roast pumpkin uh, bulgur wheat and quinoa salad that's quinoa in there. And then here we've got uh, bulgur wheat and lentil salad. We've got bulgur wheat and lentil salad. And this one is great because it's got um, cucumber as well and some uh, uh, tomatoes and all of that. And it's been seasoned quite nicely. So this is the one I'm gonna eat today. And I normally don't have a full thing. I have half of it with a piece of meat. Meat-wise, I literally got Dikota chicken day two. One for today, one for tomorrow. Two quarter chickens cooked, freshly cooked from Woolies. Sharp. One for today, one for tomorrow. Avocados, lovely. Kalamata olives, lovely. We love, we love it, we love it. Uh, nectarines, because if you know me, you know. If you don't know about it, forget about it. If you don't know it, forget about it. If you don't know about it, forget about it. Okay? Um, grapes. Because I don't, I didn't buy them last week, I don't think. I don't think. Um, then we've got black beans and we've got sweet corn and brine. And I got these because I do want to do a Buddha bowl. 
sometime this week. I don't know how I'm going to do a Buddha bowl with uh, Swiss chard spinach. I'm not going to have Swiss chard spinach raw. So I probably might just pop into Woolies again this week and see if I can get some baby spinach. Or if not, I'll get the lettuce that I love so much, the butter lettuce. So that's pretty much it. But the one thing that I really treated myself with. <laughs> just love me. This is how I love myself, okay? This is how I love myself. So this part of the vlog from here going forward will be maybe the beginning of my evening routine because it is around four now. So I'm gonna tidy this up, I'm gonna have some music playing in the background. And then once I, once I settle down for the evening and whatever, I'll do voiceovers. But this is pretty much how my Mondays go. Um, I always pop into Woods on a Monday. And then I just get myself ready and situated for the evening. So let's let's do that. A Monday normally after I come back from work I'll uh, take out all my groceries and then make myself a cup of tea before I start any other form of anything activity in the house whether I cook whether I continue working or whatever I'll always get a cup of tea first and then rest and then just take a moment which is what I'm doing right now sitting on the couch take a moment to just don't think about anything, catch up on some news or YouTube, even if it's just for like 30, 45 minutes where my brain is just switched off. Um, in this time, I'll probably just uh, look at something on my phone or also watch the news or whatever, but just not think about um, what I have to do next. And this is a way in which I can afford myself the time and the space to actually switch off my brain for a little bit uh, given the fact that it's been working overtime at work all day this is the one time that i just get where i'm like you know what just 30 45 minutes i don't want to think about anything so because uh this vlog uh evening routine is very vlog style as well i wanted to share with you what happened a little bit of last week maybe you might have seen the footage if not i'll insert it in here now uh, this is some of the stuff that happened last week and I recorded it on my camera, on my phone, on my phone. Um, one of which, let me just check to make sure that I tell you about everything 
that happened last week. Yo, Luna, last week, last week things that I hadn't expected to happen. You know when you those unexpected expenses again. Yeah, honey. Yeah. So the week essentially started off. Um, I went to. Let me see. I went to the dentist. So last week I went to the dentist because I felt like I needed to have my teeth cleaned. And it actually turns out that I was supposed to have my teeth cleaned two months from now. So I didn't have my teeth cleaned. Instead, I just had a conversation with my um, doctor dentist about um, my jaw and what I could do to alleviate grinding and all of that at night. And I ended up having to go to Mr. Price to get myself a mouth guard, which is something that I'm trying to sleep with now. It keeps slipping out in the middle of the night or it just, I just don't know. Like if you're somebody who's who, who sleeps with a mouth guard, please let me know how I can work around this. But if not, if it doesn't work out that way, I'm going to have to have one done for me that is molded to my mouth so that it'll fit properly um because these other ones don't it's just one standard mouth guard you know what i'm saying so anyway uh so i went to the dentist last week after i went to the dentist i then had to go rotate my tires so i had to do a lot of adulting last week i just wanna i want to copy some my lips Oof, my lips are, lips are dry cha. okay okay uh, so I went to the dentist last week after the dentist I had to do a bunch of adulting and this bunch of adulting is Get my tires rotated. So sometime last year I changed my tires for the one car and then for the other car I had to get them rotated and when I got them rotated Adulting gents, they tell me that uh, Two of the rooms are slightly bent and when, when, when you get your tires rotated, you know that you have to align them after that. You have to do wheel balancing, wheel balancing, eh? wheel balancing and alignment, which is something that I had to do. And then after that, uh, I, they told me that, no, the tires need, the rims, two of the rims are bent and I had to pay for that as well. So it was an ex, can you tell how tired I am? Just by even talking about it, just talking about anything money, money. Uh, so that happened. And then over the weekend, I went to my partner's place. I actually came back this morning. I went to work. I, I left my place on Friday and I spent the weekend with him. And I came back this morning uh, when I went straight to work, whatever. That's fine. Had a very eventful weekend. There was just a lot of uh laughs chats you know just just connecting and i i really appreciate all the comments on the last video that i did where i was talking about my relationship because please also subscribe do those things subscribe and follow me on instagram please if you haven't already i would really appreciate that um but thank you to all the warm words that i received on my relationship video because I was very apprehensive about posting that video but I posted it anyway and uh, it was quite well received and I'm so glad if you haven't watched that video I'll link it down below or you can just go to my playlist on my channel and you'll see it it's the yeah 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 um, so we ended up going out last weekend which was great which was nice we went out one night uh, uh, him and I, and yeah, one, two people, one, two people came up to me and said hi that night. They're like, oh, I follow your channel. I'm like, that's right, girl, come through. Uh, so that was nice. That was fun as well. I hope you guys can tell that I'm really tired. <laughs> Man, I am so tired. It's not even funny. Today was really hectic at work. So... That's probably one of the reasons why I just feel like it's brain information overload. I just want to sleep, relax. Um, but for now, I'm just having my tea. This is a very important step for me to do when I come back from work every day because I just need that little time before I start doing my side things or working or even reading. 
I just need time where I'm not thinking. I'm not doing anything. Um, so that's that on that, about that. Um, what else? I am probably going to read. I was going to do some computer work. But I don't, I don't feel like it. I really don't. I just feel too drained today. And I'm going to give my mind a little bit of a break. Um, yeah. Aside from that, I'm going to rest up a little bit. Watch a bit of the news. And after watching a bit of the news, I'm going to uh, then probably read, relax. And yeah, I'll touch base with you guys a little bit later too. Okay? Okay, bye. So here's the reality of life when you are tired and you've just gone back from work. I passed out on the couch for about half an hour. I'm tired. Not only am I tired, it's that time of the month and I don't feel the best. I've been feeling very nauseous the whole day. I've been feeling very just meh all day. And um, I realized that I just need to come up, take a bath, which is what I'm about to do now. It's going on six now. So I wanted to just take a bath, get into something more comfortable, get the heck out of the stress and just relax for the rest of the evening. The reality is <laughs> when you come back from work, every single day evening routines are going to be different some days if it wasn't that time of the month i probably wouldn't be bothered about you know ugh, i'll just take a quick shower before i go to bed or i wouldn't be bothered I, I would probably still have a lot more energy than i do today and all of that but i just don't have it um i'm so glad that you guys really enjoyed the tinder swindler <laughs> review um, this past weekend, we watched Inventing of Anna, and oh my god, talk about another swindler. I can't, I, I just, I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. I started watching it uh, yesterday morning, Sunday morning. I woke up and, because I'm a morning person and my partner really isn't really, okay, um, so I woke up in the morning and I started watching it and then when he woke up he joined me and we chilled and we watched it together And then he left me because he just doesn't respect me Then he left me for a couple of hours and he went to go do his own thing on the streets and then When he came back we finished it Really really love it. I think that the girl who plays Anna. I don't know what her name is But I'll see if I can put a picture of her here. I think she is freaking brilliant okay i think she's freaking brilliant i really really uh love her acting she does so well uh and as and as mad disrespectful that's another thing like yo i don't know if the money had gotten to her head or if all the dreams had gotten to her head or which one was that one but damn the chick was disrespectful mm, i found myself many times thinking Yes, I like, I, I could beat you, really, for talking to people like that. If you were talking to me like that, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, the conversation would have gone left very quickly. Um, yeah. Um, also love the journalist. I really think that she played a great, great role. I forgot her name, but she did it so, so well as well. It really is thoroughly entertaining. I spoke to Palisa about it. Palisa didn't quite love it as much as I did which is fine. I mean, we're not all going to enjoy things the same way. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I loved the twists and the turns and I loved, um, seeing, you know, the lengths that she would go through or go to just to be able to, you know, secure those loans or rip people off or, yo, know, I feel like the girl that I was just, I felt so bad for, but at the same time, I didn't feel bad for her afterwards when I found out that she had signed a book deal and a TV deal and whatever. That Rachel girl who got swindled in Marrakesh, girl, I ain't trying to get swindled in another country by somebody who I consider a friend. I feel like that hurt me so much when I saw, because I, I do feel like she was, um, 
you know she just loved Anna but at the same time I kind of agree with the black girl who was just like nah you only liked her when she was buying things for you and all of that which it seemed like she had a bit more interest in that uh, more than the friendship with Anna but when she signed for the book deals and all of that afterwards I was like sis bye 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 but I understand maybe to also try and recoup the money that she had lost I mean she lost what 65,000 or 62,000 and um yeah no no uh, I, I enjoyed it it wasn't something that i feel you know we could write home about but i really enjoyed it i found it entertaining and of course i love laverne i love laverne i love laverne and laverne played um she played the um, trainer loved her loved her her acting was great really enjoyed that um, but yeah, I'm just really trying to, I started reading uh, A Woman Is No Man and we'll talk about that one a little bit later, but I started reading and I'm just really trying to get back. I started the year so well with reading and now I'm slacking and I don't understand which one is this one. So I think maybe tonight I'm just going to park all the work that I thought I was going to do. I'm just going to park it. I could read from the bath um but i'd have to hold it if i had an audiobook for that then i would listen to it that way but i'd have to hold it and my hands are wet and i ain't trying to do that with my books i try to keep my books in the most pristine condition ever um so we're not gonna do that but oh gents i'm tired i don't i don't not only am i tired i just don't feel well um so i think i'm just gonna pour the water put on a mask listen to some music and maybe just take just soak for about 15 20 minutes because mm -mm, mm -mm, it ain't it sister it ain't it um and i was so looking forward to filming this uh evening routine this realistic evening routine it's very realistic facts are it's very realistic because i just couldn't be bothered like the monday is my mondaying me and my tired it's tired so uh, let's go make the bath bro <laughs> I just I just finished showering and showering I just got out of my bath typically I would wear something a lot more revealing especially considering that it's hot I would I've got like these um, really almost see-through kind of uh, long caftan type of dresses that I wear when I'm in the house but because I'm recording I ain't trying to have you see me like that okay um, I'm not gonna do that, but I am currently reading a really difficult book to read and I say difficult in the sense that it's hard because it deals with things like uh, religion and it deals with things like how women are viewed in this particular religion. It's, uh, it's hard. It's really, really hard to get through. In this book, we follow two women. One is Isra and we follow her. Uh, growing up in Palestine and then getting married at 17 and she moves 
literally a day after her wedding she moves she's a 17 year old who's getting married to a 30 something year old and she moves um from palestine to america and of course that tra transition and that uh um the two completely different worlds like the western world where you know in america some muslim did i say islam muslim some muslim women do not wear hijabs and they do not um uh you know they do not as stringently follow the uh customs systems religions you know rules uh associated with their religions as much as they do in palestine and so I don't know if that made sense. I feel like that well, that little bit was all over the place. So she moves with uh, to America with a man that she barely knows, who is now her husband. And um, then the book is told in two dual time spans. And about 20 years later, we follow Dea, who happens to be, is it Dea? Yes. Dea, who happens to be Israel's oldest daughter, who's also uh, having her marriage arranged for her and her wedding arranged for her by um her grandparents and again same system they set her up to marry this young man and it follows the differences in the cultural differences because Dea grew up in the states as opposed to israel who grew up in palestine and the differences and um the dreams that she has for herself whereas with her mother you know, it was all just the end all and be all was about being married. Um, there's some really hard passages here that really kind of upset me. You know, that the women, like Ezra's mother would say um, to her, you know, um, complain all you want, but what will you do with your life without marriage or without a family? Uh, if you ask anyone, they'll tell you marriage is what's most important for women. And for me, reading that kind of stuff is just like... <laughs> And if you follow this channel, you know exactly how I feel about um, marriage, you know, and and this this way of thinking. Um, so it's really hard to read, but it's very interesting. And I'm only about 50 pages in. I started it on uh, Thursday and over the weekend I couldn't read because I wasn't home. So I'm going to continue reading it this evening because I genuinely just feel like crap. I feel like crap. I feel like there's a heartburn coming along. I don't understand. Period pain is wiling out. Um, and when I'm sick, when Valerie is around, sometimes I, I I have the runs. Like I go to the bathroom. I know, it's like a TMI. But I go to the bathroom quite a bit as well. And I know that it, that is not uncommon. That's a thing that happens, right? Um, and as you know, I showed you guys earlier, I've got a salad from Woolies. And a piece of chicken and that's all i'm gonna eat because i don't even feel like i'm hungry i have a little bit of a, a heartburn situation going on um i don't know if it's possible because i drank uh uh my my person and i have this thing where we always start off the the day evening or whatever with a glass of <clears throat> whiskey on the rocks or neat and we end off the day evening or whatever with another glass of whiskey on the rock or neat and i had quite a bit of it this weekend so i'm thinking maybe it's it's just upset me i don't know but i i man, i ain't even finna i miss wine yo i miss wine but uh i weighed myself last week and this might be a little inappropriate or triggering for some but um I, I speak about it in my in my videos that I wasn't happy with uh, the weight that I am. I still am not, uh, but I have lost around 2.8 kilograms. It's not where I want to be. Um, I would have to lose, give or take, another two and a half to be where I feel like I'd be comfortable. So moving right, and I'm pretty sure it's because of the wine chips. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's because of the wine. So, uh, yeah, I've cut out the, quite a, a few things. Um, yeah, but I'm going to make myself something to eat now. I don't think I'm going to vlog that. It really is stepping on a salad on a plate with a piece of meat. Nothing crazy. I might make the bougie bowl tomorrow, so we'll record that. 
Uh, but yeah, for the rest of the evening, I'm really just going to unwind, chill, switch this camera off. And just listen to my body, man. Listen to my body. My body is just not it today. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Hi. Hi. So I just got back from work. I made myself a greeny smoothie. Uh, but before I came into the house, I popped into a couple of shops. One is China Mole because you guys know from last year I've been preaching that um, your clothes are getting expensive. And not only that, I mean, I'm quite particular with the clothes that I buy and where I buy. Like jeans, I'm not going to compromise. I know exactly where I need to go to go buy my jeans. Um, but with things like dresses tops whatever i'm i'm okay though like going to where i need to go right i'm i'm okay with trying out different spots and all of that and that's what i did today um so i picked up a couple of clothing items the reason why is because i'm going to get be getting rid of a large portion of my wardrobe especially when it comes to dresses because a lot of the dresses that i have are old and not only that, I just don't wear them anymore. Either they're too big because I've lost weight or I just don't wear them anymore. It's just not my style anymore. So um, I'm going to be putting some on my Jaeger store or I'm going to give some away or I'm going to I'm gonna do this whole ho just de-hoardering, decluttering series for a couple of things around the house, including some of my clothing items. So... I need to fresh start. Hey, we're going to do it little by little for the year, little by little. But that wasn't the only store that I went into. I also went into PEP, PEP. And the reason why is you guys have seen my PEP home. Sorry, PEP home. Uh, the reason why is because you guys have seen my pantry, um, the, the pantry organization video, like this stuff that's in here, right? Uh, you've probably seen that if you haven't I'll link the video down below that's one of my favorite videos but I'm quite happy with how it looks right now I'm not bothered by it it's fine what I am bothered by is my fridge because my fridge I, there's no organization to I just know that one shelf is this one shelf is that at the bottom is veggies and I went into PEP because I've been watching my friend Maxine Phoenix's video and she videos and she goes into PEP and she picks up a couple of things and whatever and I realized that damn PEP has got some great uh PEP has got some great um fridge well storage devices that could be used for the fridge so that's what I got and I'm gonna just start working on that now one big uh, thing that I spotted when I was there is this. This is a microwave cover thing, okay? And this was 18 bucks, bro. Mine, on the other hand, do not judge me, okay? Mine, on the other hand, that's how it looks. Do you see this? And it's because, is because I once put it on the stove and I didn't realize that the plate was the plate stove plate was still hot and this happened okay so as you can see exactly so when I saw this I was just like now nah, pick it up do it do it now pick it up let it go it's 18 bucks it really isn't going to be a train smash that's exactly what I did but for the fridge I got these which I felt were I thought are wonderful they love it so we can put these beside each other. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, and they have handles. So that's also good because then you can just slide it in and out of the fridge. So this is a size 28.2 by 15.2 by 8.9. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And then <clears throat> the most, I think, widely known one is this one, which is... The fridge pantry bin with a lid and two in a basket and i thought these are fantastic for fruits and i only found one had i found two i would have picked them up both but it's got a lid and it's got these little containers 
which you can stick out and there's a little bit of room at the bottom just in case they drip because you know just in case the foods fruits after you wash them they drip so the water that can collect at the bottom um but i often just wash my fruits and then put them in something like this when they're already dry so yeah we're gonna we're gonna use that if they had, if they had two if they had two three that I got are much like these ones but just much bigger and I got these for things like pepper and cucumber and um, today sweetie pepper cucumber tomatoes these are much bigger which is great then I can take out my fruits from the packaging from the plastic packaging and actually put it in this in the fridge which is brilliant okay I'm not clear I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter babe been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone cause when you're Makes it better. Mm -hmm. Wreck and fall, tear apart. Issues left behind, restart. Nothing you say makes it better. So far what I've done is this. I really like it to look farm style where I can just grab and go. So in here we've got uh, the peppers, the avocados that I bought in yesterday's video. Um, a cucumber that I was using a couple of days ago that I need to finish up, which is fine. It's okay. And then in this one, let me close my fridge chair. I need to close my fridge. Uh, and then in this one, I separated the uh, heirloom tomatoes to the colors. I've got green oh. green in there, the mixture, the slightly bigger ones in here, mix of green and red. And then I've got the yellow ones in here. And I used this long uh, whisk pack container. I took out the four smaller ones that I used to use for fruits and I put it in here just so that they don't move around and get all over the place when they're in the fridge. And then in here, I've got fresh cucumbers down there and I've got uh, spring onions, which are going to sit on top. And okay, yeah. so in these smaller ones, well, this one is a size bigger and this one is smaller. I put all my condiments here. I've got my yogurts because this is something I pull out every day. There's feta cheese in the back. My sauces, my cremas, balsamic reduction. This one is not open yet, so that's fine. Um, some cream, another salad dressing and some uh, cheese spread this is fine i like how it looks and then this one you've got my pesto sauces down here the basil pesto and sun-dried tomato pesto which is amazing this one is amazing and uh some uh, gherkins which i've been into quite a lot lately i don't even know I, <clears throat> I don't even know acha because this is a south african household okay acha is a thing uh kalamata olives which i am addicted to lately a lot of salt content i don't know what the hell is wrong with my life but here we are and you've got some oyster flavored sauce in the back um and i love that because i cook a lot of asian dishes sometimes i haven't been cooking them quite a bit for a while but here's what we've got going on now show you briefly what my fridge looks like now it is not completed but does it look good absolutely is there a bit of order <gasps> it looks so good cha. It looks so good but i need to get two or three more of these two or three or more and i'm sorted with my fridge and i'm really really happy so yeah let me put these in the fridge and then i'll give you a closer look as to how my fridge looks like here we now. are in the fridge this is the shelf that i need to organize a little bit uh later on when i pick up some more of these containers the next one is where i have my condiments i've got some iced coffee in the back there which i typically don't drink as much um but i'm thinking i'm probably going to move these up here and also add buy a bit more for guests i typically get these for guests 
I ain't even gonna lie. People like coffee, they jump into that. And then here we've got the two tubs that I just showed you now. My yogurt is in here. This is great because you can literally, it's got rubber at the bottom, so you can't really pull it out. You'd need two hands to pull it out, which is fine. I'm not bothered by that. Um, and all the other condiments that I use to dress up my food or eat. <laughs> and then the next one is also another empty one for things that I don't know where I would put them because these are the salads from yesterday. There's a piece of chicken in there. That's what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Some bacon, which I took out yesterday because I'm thinking of cooking something with bacon later on this week so i took it out of the freezer yesterday with some extra eggs and then below here is my fruit section which you've got the berries in there you've got grapes in here you've got a mango back there along with some nectarines which i can just grab and go when i go to work i love that these ones come in small containers so i decided to keep them in there because i literally just eat them all at one go so it's fine and then we've got the eggs here and then below that, we've got the farm style set up, which are the tomatoes back there, the peppers, the cucumber, and the avocado. And then in the front there, here, we've got more cucumber and some spring onion. And then in here, we have my spinach. This is where I've decided to put my spinach because this is what I gravitate to every single day. So I can open this out and then uh, make my smoothies with it. And then at the bottom here, we just have some onions and a melon. And yeah, so far, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the spread. It looks a lot neater than it did. Um, let me know what you think of it. The fridge is open, so it's complaining. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of it. If you think I should move some things around. I did consider moving this uh, whole drawer up here because for me it's easier to grab if I want to, rather than having to bend down a bit. So I could do that. When I tell you so much better, we're gonna forget about that one for now. Uh, here we go, so we've got this shelf here. Below you've got the fruits, which looks fantastic, and the eggs. And then you've got the um, vegetables. And then this longer one didn't quite fit on this, so I put it down here with the extra stuff there. But yeah, so far, Love how it looks, love how it looks.